What is a value added tax? How it works? What does it mean? How we can calculate that? Is it direct tax or indirect tax? That's what we're gonna cover in three of four part videos. Be with us with the end of all these four parts. This is Milad Akbari from Akbari Education. Welcome to your channel. Uh, as I told you, we're gonna cover the three, four part series of value added tax, which we're gonna discuss about how it's calculated. What does it mean? Is it direct or indirect tax? What does it mean by input and output tax? And everything will be covered here in a very simple language. But in part one, what we're gonna cover here? There will be explanation of direct versus indirect tax. Uh, what does it mean by value added tax or what explanation of that? How the calculation will be done and there will be an example. Let's directly jump to the first slide. The direct tax versus indirect tax. First of all, direct tax charge on income and activities conducted but the indirect tax charge on product or services you are an employee of a company you're doing your job and the direct tax is going to charge on your level of income at the month at the end of the month but the the indirect tax is a bit different it is charged on the product or services you are you are purchasing as a final customer you will bear that but the tax already included in this product the direct tax the burden of tax cannot be shifted but indirect tax the burden of tax can be shifted how it's going on as an employee i told you you will bear the tax at the end of the month and you cannot transfer that tax to anybody else and you will bear that but in indirect tax suppose i am a, a retailer i purchased this from the wholesaler and i paid some tax for this but after the end of the month and whenever the time reached to sell that back, I will receive some tax from this one, from the final customer. And this tax, the burden of tax I have paid, a portion of that will be transferred to other guy and a portion of that will be recovered or, or will be paid to the government. Third one, it is paid directly by person concerned, but indirect tax it is paid by one uh, but recovers the same from another person as i told you the same story somehow i'm the, the employee i paid this tax from my own salary to another body but in this case i will pay some tax to the wholesaler but i will recover some amount of that from the customer and if there is some amount still recoverable i can claim that back from the government Fourth one, paid after the income reached to the taxpayer and uh, under indirect tax, paid before goods or services reached to the taxpayer. At the end of the month, this is my salary, they're gonna deduct directly and will transfer the net amount to my account. So in some of other cases, you're gonna receive your income and you will pay on that time the tax means when the income is received, the tax will be paid from that. But under indirect tax, it's a bit different. Suppose I sell uh, this one, this product to a customer and they're gonna pay me after one month, but still I need to pay this tax to the government. In other uh, word, if we expect that this tax is transferred from the manufacturer to the wholesaler to the purchaser, of that suppose there is a retailer and to the final customer up to that point the bearer of the this uh, tax is the customer but the wholesaler will pay his portion of tax to the government still the final tax bearer does not pay for that but the tax is transferred so these are the main differences between the direct tax and indirect tax but why we have studied that one let's continue to the next slide the what value added tax or another name given to that is sales tax is an indirect tax charge on the sale of goods or services we can charge both on goods 
or services. It totally depends on rules and regulations of the country where you are resident. And even in most of the country, in some of the countries, there is even no indirect tax such as value added tax. But in most of the countries, we have the value added tax. Therefore, follow the rules and regulations specific to the uh, country you are living there. Uh, the point is here that the sales tax is indirect tax. Remember that point, and it will be charged on goods and services. But collecting the tax falls on the business, means the business is responsible to collect the tax from the customer or the next purchaser and they deliver the tax collected to the tax authorities so this is my responsibility as a business to collect that tax and transfer that to the tax authority or to the government how the calculation of that will be done we have the net price suppose we want to purchase a product which the net amount is there we have some value added tax to be charged on that and the total amount will reach to the gross price the net price plus the value added tax will end up to the gross price this is the same picture you will see on the invoice of a company suppose they are registered for the wet and they're gonna charge you the tax then they will show you what is the net price of that what is the tax charge on that and what is the gross amount you as a customer need to pay this is a formula suppose here that we have 20 percent rate of tax in that country it will be added to the hundred percent of the net price so our gross price will end up to 120 percent remember this formula everywhere and you can calculate each portion of these figures based on this formula let's go ahead there is an example the example said the gross price of a product A is $690. The gross price of product A is $690. Gross price. And the net price of product B is $480. So the net price here is $480. Sales tax or what is charged at 20%, the rate is the same 20% still here. What is the sales tax charge on each product? how much we need to charge as value added tax for these two products let's go by the product a product a product a said the gross price is 690 dollars so we can we have this figure that the gross price is 690 dollars the 20 percent is not clear to us the hundred percent is not clear to us we're gonna find out the value x will appear as a something which is not clear to us that's why what the figure is in front of that will come in denominator so what will appear in nominator will be 20 multiplied by 690 690 the value of x will be present let me have my calculator 20 multiplied by 690 divided by 120 will end up to 115 so the figure will be 115 this 115 is the value of x 115 dollar the value of what or sales tax for the company will be 115 as per the rate of 20 percent now we can find easily the rate of net price by deduction of 690 690 minus 115 will equal to 575 575 will be the figure this is for product a remember here we have been given the gross price and we have calculated the value added tax and net price in product B they have given to you the net price product B the net price has been given $480 and what we want to find out the value of X here and the value of X as a gross price by addition of what on the net price you will end up to the gross price here 
uh, very simple 20% multiplied by this one will and will find you the answer $480 multiplied by 20% will be equal to 480 multiplied by pi 2 will be 96 96 so this result is 96 dollar 96 plus 480 will end up to 576 dollar the question asked us for these values what is the sales tax or value added tax charge on the product but we did some extra calculations for your information here let's go one step ahead and find out if this price was given as a gross price were we able to find out the uh, value added tax and net price in a simple word suppose 576 is given and you don't know what's the value of what x the same of previous product a x is equal to what will come on the denominator will be 120 and 20 will be multiplied by 576 so 576 multiplied by 20 divided by 120 will end up to 96 dollar the same value for what this is the way you're gonna calculate uh, the gross price where you added tax and the net price thank you so much for being with us till end of the part one remember this is a part one and we will have further three more parts which will end up to the four parts and kindly remember to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and 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 thank you so much